remind people that there are different schools of thought there are different Islamic jurisprudence laws there are different laws there are people who apply the law of going local waiting to see the moon in their city town or country that's one law and that's all okay so there's no need to laugh at them there are people who go by calculation and this is all Quranic and Sunnah oh yeah 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 you see this is where the ignorance come and I need to share this with myself and you because there are a lot of Muslims in America who are not commemorating it today and that's all fair and all good they are within the Sharia they are within what the Sharia they are practicing the local site but it's important that we Muslims do not fall into gossip and commit sin out of ignorance and saying the wrong things and hence today being idol fit and a situation around the new moon it is only fitting that I remind myself and you of the importance of educating ourselves one law permits looking for the moon locally so you do it the next day if you don't see it yesterday one law permits that you can even go by calculation by what once upon a time you did not hear scholars saying that I am telling you that and I reminded myself of my and there are many scholars and only in the world who go by calculation of the visibility of the moon that the moon will be visible after such and such amount of times and such and such amount of hours on so and so day and this has been accurate for the many 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 decades and years and as scientists have calculated the time for sunrise in the morning and the time for sunset in the morning how many of you come outside your home at five o'clock in the morning to see the white thread in the air as the Prophet says and as Allah tells us when the white thread that little streak of white in the morning begin to fast how many of you have done that to the by the clock huh and how many of you go outside to see when the Sun has sat and after the sunset by the Guru Vishams then you break fast you went by an app isn't it so but when it comes to the month beginning you gotta wait to see that's why some of the scholars do by calculation and in addition to that in addition to that in addition to that you see I don't like to blame the Indian scholars and the Indian world but this is a tradition that has been continuing from India and Pakistan and Bangladesh and South Africa and other places where it's a traditional thing that came from my university Darul Ulum Deoband the head and the mother of all these universities uh -huh. but you see I went to Deoband to study Islam not to become a Deobandi not to become what? A Devandi. But to become a Muslim. Alright, so I do a little different. I go by the Quran and the Sunnah. We have these choices, local sighting, calculation. There are scholars who go by calculation, visibility, yeah? then that has been accurate, like your clock in beginning your fast in the morning and ending in the day, in the evening. In the Holy Quran. And let me give you the third one the third other choice that we have and I say this every year because I want to remind our brothers and sisters our new viewers online and our brothers and sisters you see this is Darul Ulu it means house of knowledge it is not a con cultural masjid with a bunch of dihati a bunch of villagers a bunch of uneducated people we come here to learn I repeat that this place is registered in Tallahassee as a place of learning not a cultural place of people of different tribes and countries but a place of learning so we make a difference inshallah and Allah has blessed our people and blessed us in the Holy Quran Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah Baqarah chapter 2 chapter 2 chapter 2 verse 189 Yes, Alunaka Anil Ahilla. That's all Allah speaks about the moon, the moon in, the, in, in the Quran. Nowhere. I repeat, nowhere. I repeat, nowhere.
where in the Quran speaks about sighting the moon. That's why the scholars who go by calculation visibility and international visibility based on the Quran that there is no command in the Quran that says you must go by sighting. Don't miss my point. Those who go by sighting, they go by certain hadith that the Prophet ﷺ told the people, go by sighting because they were not a people of calculation. They did not know. He knew. And he got wahi from Allah. But he did not want to leave them in corruption. So he set up a mechanism for them. Today the world is a world of calculation. So that's why you have one school of thought and practice of the ulama and the world that go by calculation of visibility. Don't miss the point I'm saying. They calculate visibility when the moon will be visible. Then in Surah Yunus, chapter 10 of the Quran, and I like to remind ourselves because I know we have a bunch of ufas here. You know, we memorize the Quran.